Hello students, today's agenda is to turn in unit 2 packet. Uh, you'll be graphing linear equations and you will be able to work on 3.1. So today students will be able to graph linear equations from scenarios. Okay, so let's start with the first scenario. It says, imagine that you have five marbles. You obtain a marble every day. And so what is the initial point? What do you start with? Okay, so you start with five marbles. And then it says, what is the slope? The slope is going to be what happens and how often. So in here it says you obtain a marble, meaning one marble, every day. Okay, so in here the slope is going to be one marble for every one day. Okay, as simple as that. We're not going to get into, little by little, we're going to get into more detail. And then it says what is the independent variable? So in here, if we were to graph, what would be your X? That's what it's asking. And so it's days, okay? That's how many marbles you have depend on what day you're in, okay? So in here, we're gonna put that the independent variable is gonna be days. And what is the dependent variable? Well, you depending on the day, we know the number of marbles that you have. Okay, so it's the total number of marbles is the dependent because that depends um, on the number of days that have gone by. So to sketch the graph, we're just going to Create a graph in here, and so we're going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So in here we're going to put days. We always start at the origin, which is 0, 0, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 days. And then this is going to be the marbles. So y is your dependent variable, x is your independent variable. And so the initial point is always going to be on y, and it says five marbles, right? So let me put in here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So start at five, because that's my initial point. And then you get one more marble, but after one day. One more marble after another day. And I don't know if you recall from module L um, about this rise, you run, rise, you run, but now we're giving it meaning. Okay, so basically you can repeat that, that you get one marble after each day, one marble another day. Um, but this is what you're doing when you're doing the actual, the y-intercept and then rising around for the slope, okay? So this is the graph for this information. Uh, in module L, you might have seen this as y equals x plus 5, but again, we're going to get into more detail with that, where this is your initial point, and then if there is nothing, you put 1 over 1 to rise 1 and run, okay? You don't have to worry about this today. It's just the graph. That's what matters today. Okay, let me do the second one. It says, you have $600 in the bank. That's what you have right now. You spend, okay, that's very important, spend $150 every month. So what is the initial point? It's $600. What is the slope? What's happening and how often? So the slope is that you're spending 150, meaning that it's going to go down, right? So it's going to be negative 150 for every how often? Every month. 
If they ask you to simplify, it's just going to be negative 150. Okay? And then what is the independent variable? The independent variable is for x, it would be months. Months. And what is the dependent variable? That will be money, right? The money that you have left. Uh, to sketch the graph, we just put here months. I'm so sorry. Months in here. And then money for the dependent variable. And so we're going to put, to make our life easier, um, I could have done it, I could do it by 50s, I could do it by 100s, but then you're going to end up with middle points, right? Information in the middle. Or I could just do it by 150. So 150, 300, 450, 600. Again, if you decided to do 50, it would be 50, 100. 150, 200. 250, 300. 350, 400, 450 is 500, so you would need two more to have your 600 and that's where you will start. That will be your initial point. Okay, let me zoom a little bit here. I mean not zoom, zoom out. <laughs> okay, so you can continue to do it in here, but in reality you only need up to 600, and 900, etc, etc. So your initial point is 600 which is right here. After one month, without thinking, after one month, how much do you have if you spent 150? Well, you only have, after one month, 450. After two months, another 50, 150, so now you only have 300. After a month, you only have 150. And after a month, you spent all the money. After that, oh, now you're gonna go into the negatives because if you don't have any more money in the bank, then you go uh, in the negative. So after uh, the fifth month, you're going to owe negative. I mean, you're going to owe 150. Okay? And so on. So it can go into that also. And for that time, you can also go in the negatives. If you say right now, meaning zero is the right now. I have 600, how much did I have last month? So negative one means last month, okay? Oh, I had a three, 750, and two months ago I had, oh, $900. So you can go in the negatives, meaning that, but you can also go in the negatives for the de independent variable, which means time in the past. Zero is the present right now, Negative is last month, last year, depending on, on the in, what does represent the X. And then positive numbers means in the future. Okay. So this is going to be my line. And if you notice, the slope is negative. My slope is negative, so my line is negative. It goes from left to right, it goes down. Okay, and so let's do another example. It says, you have 15 oranges, you eat 5 oranges every day, every day, oh sorry about that, every, no, every 3 days, so that was right. It's not every day, it's every three days. What is the initial point? So, what do you start with? 15 oranges, that's my initial point. You eat five oranges every three days. Sorry about that. So the slope is, when you eat, that means that you're gonna have less, so it's minus five. And now, it's not every day, but every three days. Okay? And what is the independent variable? That will be days. So my x is days. 
my y is the dependent variable is number of oranges, right? Number of oranges. Or you can just put oranges. Okay, some people put total oranges. So I'm going to show you um, the sketch of the graph. And it's going to be in two different ways. And both are correct. So in here, I'm going to put oranges by, I'm going to put by 5. So 5, 10, oranges, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And then in here, I'm going to put um, by 3 because it happens every 3 days. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, etc., etc. And I'm going to put days in here. And so... It says that the initial point is 15, so it's right here. And then you go down three, every, I mean, f go down five every three days. Remember that this is the change on Y, so it means your rise and your run. So the number on top of the slope, you either go up or down. Since it's negative, you're going to go down. And then the run is left or right depending on the sign. Since it's positive, the negative only belongs to one of them. So since it's positive, it's going to go to the right. So you go down five for every three. So in here, it's already three days. Five for every three days, five for every three days. And so you're going to have zero. After nine days, you have zero oranges. Okay, and you cannot have negative uh, oranges. For now, you can still have the arrow if you want, but in reality, in real life, you can say, oh, I'm, I have z negative five oranges, right? The other way to graph it is to actually go by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc., etc., for the days, okay? One by one. And then in here, you can also have either one by one or three by three or four. Depends, okay? So let me do, let me see if I can do 15 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <laughs> So one, two, three, four, five. See how crowded that is? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I'm gonna start stop right there since um that's my initial point. So the initial point is fifteen. And let me zoom in. Fifteen four, and then I eat five for every three days. So one, two, three, right there. And then another five, I eat another five in another three days. Okay, so that's how my rise and run, rise and run, rise and run would look. So another five for three days. So that's where the line would go. And you can do various, um, various combinations where you might do only by fives and it, will, it would be like five by fives and then one by one. Whichever you prefer, both are correct, okay? Whichever is easier. Uh, you can see that this is very complex, and if we have like 90, 90 um, oranges to begin with, it wouldn't make sense to do it this way because you are not going to do one by one until 90, okay? So you might want to do the five by fives. So you can just check the information and see what works best. But yeah, now you can work on 3.1 and have fun.